it's now much easier to construct a, a formatted time in Tasker. Previously, when you go in, when you went in the parse format daytime action, you had to manually build a format. In this example, I'm using a 24 hour and then column and then a 24 hours and then column and then the number of minutes for the current time. And this shows this. This is the current time. But I always had to remember what what uh, symbols to use here and what they corresponded to. But now I can simply use the helper. For example, I want to get the current hours in uh, hour in day, for example. And then any other character, for example, the column like before. And then, as you can see, the, the format is being constructed up here. And it show, already shows the current value for that format. And each of these items here show the current value for each of the sections of the format. So I have the, the hours, and now I want to, have to add the minutes in an hour. And as you can see, I could have used just one H and one M for the same format I had before. So this is a very easy way to not have to, sorry, to not have to remember all the, 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 the symbols you have to use. So I want to add the seconds now and maybe, I don't know, I'm just doing something random and the milliseconds. And then you have the format, you run the action, and you get the appropriate values. So now it's much easier to construct your output format in the parse format daytime action. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.